Actually, the last time I can remember asking myself what now was shortly after I was born. I uh, had a very clear memory of thinking to myself, what now? But by a happy coincidence, this time of asking that question is occurring as I'm about to retire. And I'm finding that when you announce you're going to retire, people immediately ask you what you're going to do. It's almost as though you're going back to college or something and they want to know what you're going to major in and what you're planning to pursue. What I think is so interesting is that it gives an opportunity for people to explore what their former interests might have been, how they might grow on the basis of those, how they can discover some new interests. I've been very fortunate to be able to join some collaborative relationships with some Kindle alumni, especially in the areas of social media and also in the area of documentaries. And we've begun to really explore putting together documentaries, usually short, having to do with art and design, their role in the community. And it's just an exciting opportunity for me to begin to be able to grow into that area. You do have the opportunity and the advantage of you have been through a great many things. And so in some ways, uh, you're no longer uh, wondering, can I accomplish something? You, you, you have to live with what you have accomplished, but you're free to begin to roam about and explore things that used to be maybe interests, but they got sidetracked along the way, or new things that have come along and that you want to be able to connect with and that you can continue to pursue the kind of intellectual excitement that you've always been interested in pursuing.